day. It's super hot. In fact, you can probably see the humidity in the air out there. It's 93. I'm getting ready to get back on. Uh, I took yesterday off. Just too hot, man. So today I am going to start. I guess I'm going to start over there. Uh, I'll get this back portion done here. Well, there's nothing to weld here, but it's over there. Then I'll make little steps for right here to fill in these gaps. Back here, straight down on both sides. And that'll complete the back part. Then I can move on to the front. Now, I'm going to try to stay here as late as I can today. But I am going to also try... Sorry, excuse me. Ugh. I'm going to try to cut this all down to where it needs to be and out of the way and get it pushed in. This I'm probably just going to cut straight off here. I'm pretty sure I said all this in the last part of the video. But let's get started. So I've been welding for the past four hours now. I am toast. But all of that back through there is welded all the way over to right there where it goes to the door edge uh, I'm to here right now these little patches around this stuff really suck because it's so many different odd shapes but I mean just go with it tomorrow I'll kill that and then we'll start working on up there right here on both sides and after that, we'll come around here and start working on the firewall stuff. But as for tonight, I am spent, burn up, four hours of welding. I give it to those guys who do eight, ten hour days of welding. They're champions. Me. Uh, I could do it, but I don't want to do it. I prefer cars, so I'm out. So it is like, let's well, say like day two of firewall fab. You can see where it's going here. This box is going to be really close to there. Really have no choice in the matter, but this is where the hood hinges go. So all this has to be there. It can't be moved. Uh, my big problem is going to be this up here. I haven't figured out what I want to do there yet. All that over there is nothing. That's easy. Uh, on this side, I have moved the hole for the friggin' wiring harness to go inside the cab to down to here. And now what I'll do is I'll probably just do a straight piece to here and then here and then keep following it around. Now that has to be straight because this is your steering. Squeeze me, but uh, you can tell that's how long the dash is. I mean, it's huge and this can't be moved. That's a, no ifs, ands, or buts there, so. And yeah, here you can see a better shot of that nightmare I gotta go through. I can't really weld it from the bottom. So somehow I'm gonna have to butt weld it all together, which means probably hammering this down to where it's closer and then putting a, a thin plate in there. Welding it all up. Then a lot of this will get seam sealed and everything to make sure no leaks. Uh, again, this down through here, no problem, butter. This stuff is what's going to take the time right here. So I done showed you the floor is done. And I'm just working on the firewall and everything. Lots of welding. Lots and lots and lots of welding. I already have sunburn on this arm. I don't know if you can... Well, yeah, there you can tell. White, brown. But, yep. I'm going to start trying to knock this out today hopefully get all of this that way and over there and most of that then 
I'll leave that probably for tomorrow because it's going to be a fight. I'll try to weld it inside the box. So, yeah. And we're doing away with wipers and everything. So, that's this cowl over here. Since there's like zero aftermarket for these trucks, this cowl is going to have to get, I'm hoping we're going to shave those completely off and those. Those will have to be shaved. But the wipers for sure we'll have to shave them off that'll be smooth it'll still screw on but we'll put a nice bead of silicone around it to make sure they don't leak at all but yes let's do some fab work i wish i had me some new gloves i'll tell you that much though <laughs> look at these things uh i've got fingers missing on burn holes through they've lasted longer than i thought but I gotta get me some of them welding and fab gloves, you know. I just haven't bought any yet. They're like 60 bucks. Ah, but let's get back to it. Let's crank the music up, go to town. Now, if anybody's watching this that does fab work, they know this stuff takes time. So I've been working on this all day. I know it's easy when it's flat, but when you got to make everything come together right and look semi-decent which I think it looks fantastic and this the truck actually swoops in like that you can see that actually follows it pretty good but it's not sticking out to where the hood because the hood actually goes completely flush against this and wraps around that bolt so I think it looks great but I've been doing this four hours. I'm, I'm done again. It's hot. But at least that's this side is the major side. That side over there is easy. Yeah, so I still got to cut and make a patch. Do from... I got to weld from here, here down all the way. Put the patch in there. The other side's the same way. Then I got to do this line up under here and up here. So as you can see, I welded that, but the gap was actually big here. So I looked at it and I was gonna put a small filler in there where it rolled down, and I was like, it's gonna be a pain because it was only like that big, which is like a quarter inch. So I said, you know what? Let's just roll a piece, make it look nice, and put her in. There she is, it wraps all the way around. There's a ton of weld there, I know. It's, it's a lot of welding. But once it gets hit, it might not we might not even grind it down. We might just hit it with some flat black. Then again, whatever we're gonna do, we might just grind it down and put some sealer on it to make it look nice and then hit it with some flat black. All of this from probably this point down is going to be blacked out just like the firewall so when you open it all this will probably get blacked out and there will be the engine I wish there was like some really nice chrome stuff for this engine I wish we had the car 5.7 cover because it looks better than this cover but it's going it looks good firewalls coming together I mean you got to think about it I'm where the front end is right now, and that would be you looking. Well, it'd probably be a little bit less than you looking anyway, but it don't look bad at all. It actually looks pretty fantastic for something that's literally super custom. I mean, yeah. I, I think once the fenders are on and the fenders are actually square, they're going to come to like here. So actually all that you're going to see is that right there. And that's it. It looks nice. I actually hammer welded, which is means I welded a uh, first spot and then hammered, weld, hammer, weld, hammer, weld, hammer, weld all through there, all down through here. So it's not just touching together and welded. It's actually hammered, so it's got a seal. And I'm going to and I did like this. I cut this off and I'm going to round this off some more. Do the same with the other side to where it looks, you know, good. 
where it don't look like it's just a dead stop to here. I actually like that better. So yeah, it is coming together nice. Once I get the firewall welded up on the floor, start putting the front end on, which tomorrow's Friday. So I'll have all day tomorrow, I'm gonna come in at one. Uh, it's gonna be like one to seven. So six, five, six hours of fab work. I should probably be almost done, if not done tomorrow. As I said, this was the majority of it. This is the big stuff right here. And inside, can't even see that stuff. It's literally under the dash. Yeah, you can't even, I mean, right there's the hole you can see through the firewall, or through the dash, but you can't even see that stuff. So inside the truck, you won't even see it. Outside, you'll see just a little bit of it. It's going to be nice. This thing's going to be cool. Uh, now we're talking, we don't know yet if we're going to run 17s. Not them 17s, but 17s, which these are. Or the 20s. And the reason we don't know yet is if we can't get it down far enough. Because we want it down. We don't want it scraping but we want it down uh so right now we're thinking this is an automatic six as i've done said and six up front that'll bring it down but i don't know about the wheels yet we'll have to figure that out so before i came in today i had to restock on stuff we were on our last roll of welding wire i get some king equipment this is washington alloy uh we use a ER70S6, 30 foul, 11 pound spool, $23 and some change. It's cheap. I uh, had to go to Tractor Supply and pick up more 5 16s, 3 8s, and quarter inch bolts, nuts, and washers. Those cost almost as much as the welding wire does. But every time I went to quit last night, I kept going, so actually got this mostly done here to where we can start going down that way and on the other side it is basically all done except for going down the side there so today I need to do this plate up in here in top and then start them side patches and the firewall will be done so I've got I'm gonna do about five hours of welding, so I'm gonna burn pretty good. Oh, and I also gotta make these little plates here to block that off. Both sides, need one here. Uh, that one's pretty tough. Yeah, got a little bit up here to do, but it's almost welded. Then I can start fitting the front end back on, which is when it really starts to get look like a, a truck again. And plus, once we have the front end back on, we can start playing with how high we need to get this thing, or how low, shall I say. We don't do up, we do down. So, gotta get that thing just, I mean, if the body sits here, that means that wheel well is going to be like up here. So it needs to be, needs to be down, man. Down. I'm gonna hop to.